Welcome back to another painting session. Today, we're going to be having our stock at Neptune and its moon Triton. Now, next, or last video, I uh, misspoke when I said it was Titanus. It was not. It was Triton. That was what the moon was called uh, when I was talking about the future project. The present one here, now. Now, Triton is a very icy moon with quite a bit of reservoirs, if not whole oceans full of liquid fluid. Uh, it might be water, it might be something else, um, but regardless, they have little cryo geysers, it's called, or cryo volcanoes, which fuse out this fluid, but it is so cold, once it exits, it immediately turns into uh, like ice crystals, or another way to put it, you know those videos where people in very cold places get a hot pot of water and they plash, splash it and it just turns to what looks like steam? It looks like that. Now something interesting about this moon is it does have a atmosphere, albeit very, very small, very, very small. So small, in fact, that when the geysers go up and exit the atmosphere, they just go out, almost horizontal, out into space. And it does not take long for them to exit that atmosphere as it is so small, or so thin, rather. Now, I might be wrong on that. If any of you are astrologers and um, know more about this than I do, then feel free to tell me about it. Uh, anything else that I have also gotten wrong in my previous videos about astronomy and the planets and whatnot, just just tell me. Um, it, I won't be hurt by it. I, I make mistakes, everyone does. I uh, got wrong sources, what have you. But I think I'm pretty much on the money when I research th these things, but I eh, might be wrong. But on to the painting. I ain't no scientist, but I am an artist. So I'll get the outline ready. As you could assume, this stencil will be of, oh, one minute, I already did a new cap now, will be of Neptune. <clears throat> It'll be a pretty big one. There won't be no moons in the skybox. There will be a sun here. I might have a dot. Man, I might have a dot. I might not. Um, but there will be some source of light there, regardless. Is it just this can? One minute. My Oasis Blue is giving out at the moment. Let's see about this. This works. Alright. I guess the pressure here was just too much for it. Oh, adios. There you go. Now this will be much darker than Uranus, if you have seen that last video. I'll remove that and show you the sketch. Instructions up there. Now it will be more blue than last video, where last video was more rocky and overall just cold, um, a dark cold to it. This will be more vibrant cold. Um, of course, Triton might not be as blue as I'm going to depict it as, but it's good to have some color in these little series, especially when you go out further, when it gets less and less interesting, um, in my opinion, anyway. So I'm gonna add some flair to it. Now, there will be a canyon about here. I'm gonna stop it about here, not all the way down there, just just there, it's fine. I drop it down, a canyon here. Once that's done, once the land is laid out, I'll have the cryo geysers here. First, I'll use the divider here. I'll bring it out. I'll bring this sprite up, get the texture, I get a curved edge and then make the edge and keep going. I'll do that for as many as I'm gonna make. I have in the sketch that I'm gonna make six. I might have more, I might have the exact same. I don't plan to go less. 
but we will see, we will certainly see. But yeah, blue, everything. There'll be some gray, some black, a little bit of brown for the shade, but for colors, that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy, just something I haven't done before, the crawl geysers or geysers in general. But I think I'll do fine. If I do do, if I do well on this painting, then it might just rival the Saturn and Titan planets. And it might just do that. If it goes well, after all. But without further ado, I will begin the time lapse, the thing all of you are waiting for. And yeah, I'll get it started. Enjoy.
finished product. Now, I am very proud of how this turned out. I did have to wait uh, in between making the land and then making the geysers because my camera was low on battery. So if there was any significant changes in between that, those clips, that's why. But when it does come to the geysers, it was my first time doing something like this. But I think I did very, very well with it. I'll show you all the sketch one more time. Details up here. Now this is the very few times where I believe that the painting looks significantly better than the sketch. Usually my drawing skills are better outweighed, uh, well, overall better than my painting. In this case, in rare cases, like the Saturn one, this, this beats the sketch by a long shot. Now the color scheme, like I said, very cold blue, a good contrast to the cold stone of last video. Uh, the only real change I'd make to this painting is just to have like a small mountain range in the background. Just a very small one. Not yet. Just to make more rigid, uh, a rigid structure to the horizon line. And that's it. That's, that's all. Maybe, you know, go back in time and remove this over here. Accidentally forgot to remove a lug nut on our weights here. But it's fine. It's all right. Yeah, I think the technique I used to make the cryo geysers, it's paid off. Um, if you saw what I did was just flip the can upside down and spray down. I got the idea um, from, uh, I've mentioned his name before, um, sketch art. And he used it in a, he uses it in a different fashion where he uses it for solar rays. But I tried it out a little bit and thought, well, perhaps I could flip it around and turn it into something like this. So then I used my Comet paper, turned it upside down so I could use the curved side and then curved it here, made it straight, added little ends on it to make it disorderly as it's not a perfect stream there's going to be outlets and um, little extra streams auxiliary streams from it um, but from that Neptune is if you saw back in like the, that clip the first go I had was really good then I blew it. Um, so that, that's also one disappointment. But overall, it, it fits. You know, it, it's clearly Neptune. In person, there's more lighter. This isn't gray. It's more just light blue um, than what it shows on the phone. So that's unfortunate. It, it seems more gray on the phone than it actually is. It's a bit more blue. Um, sun over here, maybe it could just be a bit more rounded. The gradient sky does well. Maybe, maybe it could just be a bit darker, but it's fine. Canyon looks good, very dynamic with the tops and bottoms and with the sides being tinted. The land itself has a good color gradient to it. Good pattern and texture. Fits well with the crowd geysers. Overall, I'm, I would say this is a very well job done. So I really guess to say, very proud of it. If you all also like this painting, then feel free to subscribe to see more, especially with the next video being on Pluto. Hopefully I'll be able to do that one the same justice as I could do for here. And if you like this video in particular, just like and subscribe um, again. If you have anything that you would like to talk about, anything at all, 
and the comment section is down below if you wish to join the discussion. Um, compliments and criticisms are both equally accepted to me. So I do hope I could see any of those. So as both of those, all of these methods, liking, subscribing, commenting, they do help me to become a better painter in one way or another. And with that out of the way, I think I am good to go to have outro or just to end the video. Again, I hope you all have enjoyed tonight's painting session. I hope you have enjoyed the little time lapse, the painting, and hopefully it has made your night a little bit better. If that was my effect on you, then I have done my job well, more than I did with the painting. And well, if I did, then I hope that all of you have a great night. Until next time, bye-bye.